Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Magic by B.O.B. And this message was approved by Bob. The, the weird thing is, it, 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 the official recording actually is tuned down a half step. So if you want to play along with the official video, you'll have to tune down E flat, B flat, G flat, D flat, A flat, and E flat. But there are some lyric videos for this song actually that are on YouTube that are actually tuned up a half step. So, so we're going to kind of work with, with, with that kind of approach. So we're going to start on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to an F major. We're talking about a really easy way to do this, but if you know the bar F major, first finger is going to go across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. But if you're just starting out or you just want to avoid the bar chords, you could actually use a good substitute for this called F major 7. And when you play F major 7, first finger is going to go to the first fret on the B string, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds an F major 7. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the F major 7, we're going to be going to an A minor chord. And when you play A minor, first finger is going to actually stay on the B string first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to go to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret. And the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And that's basically the bulk of our song, actually, is we got C major, F major, A minor, G major, C major, F major, A minor, G major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite 4-4 four, four strum patterns is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up. right hand used to it and then if we try that through, through our progression we got C down up kind of work through your song but but th there is like one spot actually kind of in our chorus part actually like like kind of after our intro where they end up splitting the 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 G chord at the end with a C chord and what I mean by that is like right on the C chord you'd be doing a down down up and then you go to G and do a down down up, kind of at the very end of our, our phrase so if we tried that we have C down up to do the C with the down, down, up, and then go to the G for the up, down, up, and keep our strum pattern the same. So we tried that, you'd have C with down, down, up, G, up, down, up, kind of splitting it like that. So 
we try that through our progression, we have C down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, minor, down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, G up, down, up. Now another way you could kind of split it actually to give it even more energy on that last push is to do your down down on the C and the up up down up on the G. So you can do the C with the down down G on the up up down up. So we got C down down G on the up up down C on the down down G on the up up down up. So if we tried that through our progression. We have C down up. sound. Something else I would think about adding to this though too is, is something called bass notes. So you could take the, the first down that you're doing and the down, down, up, up, down, up and substitute in a bass for the chords that we're doing. So for instance on the C you do the A string for your bass and then do your down, up, up, down, up because that's the lowest note that has the name of the, the chord. So it's kind of a C note down, up, up, down, C with an A bass. Doing the bar F, you have a low E string for your bass, low E bass, down, up, up, down, 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 low E bass, down, up, up, down, down, low E bass, down, up, up, down, and then if you're doing your F major 7, you'd have the D string for the bass. You could do just a bass down up on C and then the G with the bass down up. You kind of split that idea that way. So you have C with an A bass, down up, up, down, down with the bass, down up, up, down, come on with an A bass, down up, up, down, C with an A bass, down up, G with a low E bass, down up, C bass, down up. Our song is just repeating those parts. Although there's a really cool keyboard solo that comes in at the end. And one way to kind of play that would be going 8th fret on the high E, and then 7th fret on the high E, and then 5th fret on the high E, and then we'd be going open E, or 3rd or fret, and then open E, and then 3rd fret on the B, and then 1st fret on the B, and then open B, and then 2nd fret on the G, and then open G. So the note you're actually kind of playing is going C, B, A, G, E, D, C, B, A, G, C, B, A, G, E, D, C, B, A, G. So that would be one way to kind of play it. 
if you want to stay in kind of that upper position, kind of working more off of, of the fifth fret, then, then you can actually kind of refinger that a little bit and go eight on the high E, seventh on the high E, fifth fret on the high E, but then eighth fret on the B string, and then fifth fret on the B string, and then seventh fret on the G string, fifth fret on the G string, and then fourth fret on the G string, so I'm kind of sliding back for that, and then seventh on the D, and then fifth fret on the D. So you're going A, seven, five, eight, five, seven, five, four, seven, five. But you're still playing the same notes actually that we were doing the other way. So you're still going C, B, A, G, E, D, C, B, A, G, C, B, A, G, E, D, C, B, A, G. Just kind of a different fingering for that. But, um, but like I said, if you want to play along with the recording, though, you, you'll have to kind of tune down a half step. But um, if you want to, uh, but, but there, there's some good lyric videos out there that actually have kind of taken it up a half step for some random reason. Um, perhaps for this reason, so you can play along with it a little bit easier. But that's the basics of how you can play Magic by B.O.B. So good luck!